All righty, let's play this in full here. Hey guys, I was just, uh, I was just, this never leaves this room. All right. I think this is much, much better. I really like your, that transition of him, especially with that face, although he looks a bit bored. <laughs> like this is such a, I mean, I know he's not actually singing this, but, but you might bring out the chest a bit more, shoulders back, maybe head up a bit, and maybe a bit more strain in the face. I don't personally, it's subjective, but it feels like just ever so slightly bored. But I do like the contrast of that face going into this, so you can get ready for this. I don't mind that. But I still wonder, it's totally up to you acting-wise, uh, if you want to push that moment potentially a bit more. But I think that transition, that works pretty well. I'm still curious. Let me know if you're gonna do the whole thing with your, uh, the lights. And if you have maybe at this point when that turns on, like that hand finishes that move with the clear uh, panel and everything. You have a little bit of keep alive and they could blink a bit. Now, generally, here, here are my thoughts. Uh, this covers uh, animation, but also look-wise and things. And obviously, you can uh, tweak whatever you want uh, based on that, on, depending on what I'm saying here. So, watch out for this. This already, I'm going to turn this, well, leave the sign a bit. As you go down, especially if I follow that finger, it's a very, very straight line there, right? So, and then you get into a bit of an IK hand, as it seems, where I see a lot of movement through here, but not that much in there. Like, this movement doesn't influence the wrist enough, making this IK, even this is a bit straight. I mean, you have a bit of an arc there, definitely here, which is good. But then watch out, you have a bit of a harsh stop in terms of your spacing here. Maybe just go like this here. And then you have your wrist here, then you have your wrist here. And it's here, and boom, it's even up there. I'm exaggerating a bit, but it's it has a bit of a harsh change there where I would look at you refining your arcs a bit more. And then watch out, it's like a mechanical thing of uh, as your arm goes up, your upper arm moves, and then boom, and then it stops. And then it's purely just this, where it starts to feel a bit mechanical, where only the elbow moves, but not really the upper arm. And then let me go back here. It's hidden by the mic. Let's make sure that your your shoulder is also involved. But it's basically, like, as a whole, I have a feeling uh, also here there's a slight moment of your arm almost staying in put. It's not too bad, but especially here. Here it locks again a bit, and then only the wrist moves or moves more. It feels a bit weird. And then here's another one in terms of your, uh, of your arcs. Turn this off here. So if your hand is here, here here whoa and then this happens so you can see that crazy change there where you really have to work a bit more on your arcs even if it's just you know from here then to here and maybe here and then here even if just a little bit but you want to work on that and it's the same thing here when you have such a big visual change in that path when that wrist goes down in an arc and then you have a bit of an ease in, and then boom, and then we're just staying put on that on that line there. And then you suddenly come back. So again, this could be a bit more fluid in terms of your arcs. Same thing here. You're starting a really big move this way. And then choo, goes pretty straight down. And then over here. Um, and I think that's throughout your your uh, movements here. We're not going to frame through the whole thing. It's going to be like a bit longer, but I think I was—I just want you to take a look at this and really comb through wrists and elbows and nose arcs and just everything that moves where you can... Could you do a bit more with your arcs? Soften them a bit and have them less flat. I think that's going to give you a bit more fluidity. And you can see this even in his nose. And we'll do it one more. If you track his nose here... Moves over there. I'm a bit messy at the beginning, but I'm tracking the nose tip. Goes over there. And then we stop and then, whoa, and then we suddenly go up. And especially with so much momentum where you have 
turn this off where you have so much body movement that boom that suddenly stops and it's and i know that this leg is here and pushing against it but it still feels like you can just go a bit bit more with that overshoot and come back a bit and you have this a bit here and you go up and it goes down a bit i like that i'll keep alive there but i would just kind of push this a bit more based on your arcs just watch out for that but mainly and i know he's not singing but i think to to kind of push the idea a bit again i would like he feels very relaxed in his posture where again i would push out the chest a bit more and just imagine pushing the pose more where it really feels like he is yelling that that note there this timing wise is a bit even going down so you can even do a bit of a like imagine a bit slower than speed up with a bit of a bigger arc and even this this is such a big accent in the voice Maybe it could be him doing something, maybe a little flourish with his arm. The head could go up a bit. Just a bit of anticipation to that. And then for this, you know, he goes down. It could be following that a bit more into something like this. Or he might even go into something like that. It might even be a bit more exaggerated to something like this. You can just kind of track your arcs and kind of push that, a bit more, that moment a bit more. And then here he goes... And I think as that voice goes up, I will bring up his root. So he goes, ah, so the root is almost mimicking the, the tone of voice. Where he goes, ah, and then, and then as, as you do this, the, uh, and it deflates, you can mimic that in the body. So he goes up, 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 and sings, and uh, the root comes back down, shoulder comes back down, arm starts to relax. Everything just kind of starts to relax and deflate in the body, just like his voice. And I wonder, because the voice goes down, doing this, that you might open your eyes earlier. He holds that pose, but he looks and has maybe eye darts, which you might not notice, it's too small, but something where you can, and then you can, and then do the turn. So it feels like we're, I don't see an eye opening at all, to be honest here. So I think you, I, you could try just open the eye a bit sooner and then do the turn and then watch out. And then it gets a bit too to pose to pose where your things, even though it's offset with one arm and the other, I see a lot of movement through here and this goes down and then kind of stopped, but then nothing happens. And I think given that style of animation here where there's arcs and movements and or somewhat lack of arms or arcs, but... You know, there's enough ambient movement here that then it suddenly becomes too minimal. Where it just feels a bit too minimal animation compared to the beginning. So the style suddenly changes a bit. So we just do a bit more in your moving holds for that. Hey, guys. This is not, I don't mind this, but the thing that bumped me here was that I would cut sooner. Was your cutting on the word? Hey. And I would just go into this and you might have to watch out how you swing back or you might have to overshoot a bit and come back it's a bit harsh and it's stop on some on some moments like here with potential intersections too but that would cut a bit sooner or you might even potentially finish that move but the hay is purely in this shot and in this shot even though this might be accurate in terms of him chest facing this way head facing the guys I think you could cheat and bring that chest over facing this way just cheat it and in that way you can maybe rotate the head a tiny bit more so maybe that nose ridge is maybe here but then giving us a bit more of a separation between the chin and the shoulder just stage it a bit more so it's the chin doesn't kind of flow into that chest you could get a bit more contrast uh in this again not my drawing is helping but imagine the chin and the neck and the shoulder or separated in terms of negative space there. Hey guys, I was just uh I was Now, for this shot. Hey guys, I was just uh this all seems very limited in terms of what eyebrows are doing, the eyelids. I was just this never leaves this room. Especially through here, it's basically just in here. 
Um, so you're gonna have to look at pushing those moments a bit more and really incorporating the whole phase. It's just, uh, I was just, this never leaves this room. This never leaves this room. Even this could be, this never leaves the room. It leaves could have a bit of an accent where the body can come up a little bit, a little bit of a chest move, a bit of a head accent in the head. Leaves this room. And this room will be like his most embarrassed moment where, you know, throughout the whole thing, the head can go down, meaning like the nose tip would be here and at the end here. It can be subtle, but I think right now it's extremely limited where there's nothing really going on through there as a scrub, as you can see there. Uh, I was just... This never leaves this room. And even this could be, you can anticipate this with maybe the shoulders go first, two frames earlier, with a slight offset, and then the head. And even this could be where... And then stuff like this, watch out, as you bring down your lids, it will bring down the, uh, the eyebrows a bit. It just feels that connective tissue in the face is a bit missing there. Uh, but you are asking something about... There's one spot during that first step move where the left hand kind of gets stuck in one spot. There's one spot during that first step. And then you're saying... It's behind the bodies. I wasn't sure if it was a big deal or not. But during that first step, I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, this has a bit of a sticky feel to it. Like some, a bit of a messy art there, but... It's not there. I'm not quite sure which one you mean. Is it through there? I mean, that's somewhat hidden. Or do you mean this? I'm not quite sure which part you mean. Maybe, um... A frame count would help me. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, these are kind of my impressions in terms of just overall cleanup and giving this a bit more life and texture where it doesn't feel so separate. Even with a big nose like this, I think this rig has enough controllers to move a bit of those corners, even a little bit on the nose tip as the jaw goes down. You want this to make this just a bit more organic. It's just... This never leaves this room. And especially the end is just a bit too limited where you just stick to lip sync and that's it. And on a personal note, I know I'm I'm just always not not a massive fan of these type of textures. I mean, with this, with these kind of models, because they're so limited in their in their uh, textural detail. And then you have this, where it's, it's such a clash of styles. But again, I think you're going to put in lights, so we'll see at the very end how that is. But even stuff like this, I feel like all those lines kind of distract from the face and the silhouette. And you got stuff like this, and the boxes right behind him where... I would take these out, put that table over here. Like no one, no one will know anyway. This is the backside. Uh, even this feels like there's so much detail. That my eye almost wants to go here first before looking at that. That's, you know, the textures are much simpler than this. So if you need this, I would just simplify, move it over there, clean this silhouette. I would keep that with simple colors. All of this, just kind of like that. Even this t-shirt might be too much noise compared to here. But that's just me. I know this is very subjective, but... Um, that's just kind of what I, my thoughts on textures and, and looks in animation. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.